Howdy folks, how you all doing? Crusty 6 here, hope you're all having a wonderful day, evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all my subscribers. Uh, and my new subscriber that's just come through, thank you buddy. I appreciate your uh, support, I really do. Anyway, on with today's gameplay. We're in the Scorpion G on Cliff. Uh, I thought I'd ramble it in this game. Because <laughs> I ramble everything in life, you understand. But anyway, thought we'd give it a bit of a tickle with the Scorpion G. Taking the usual... Uh, slightly spot for tank destroyers uh, up here on the hillside so if ever you're in this game and you're on your opposing team or if you're in artillery or anything like that put a couple of rounds up here you're guaranteed pretty much nine times out of ten that you're going to end up hitting somebody and it's free damage i guess for want of a better word so what are we into day four of the auction how you find your new rebadge progetto 46 eh is it all you thought it was going to be and now that you've just lost twenty thousand gold <laughs> I did warn you, I did say it, done a day, done a day, you'll be making a big, big mistake, done a day. And especially if your partner finds out, <laughs> they'll probably rip you a new asshole, I would have thought, for spending that kind of money on uh, pixels on a screen. But I hope you enjoy it. If you bought it and you're enjoying it, then that's all that matters, I suppose. Uh, me, personally, I'm just giving it a wide berth because I just think it's a, a, it's just another con. It's another means of wargaming, getting you to open your wallet or your purse uh, and empty it rather rapidly. Uh, 20,000 gold, I mean, come on, what are you on wargaming? <laughs> they're obviously doing well because they're obviously selling, aren't they? So some people are buying them, uh, but fair play to them, it's their decision, isn't it? It's up to them. Uh, but yes, so Cliff, great map, like this map. Uh, they could do a few things on this map that, you know, make it a little bit better. Especially on where that mountain is, you know, where the lighthouse is in the middle. I'm sure they could do a few things. Make it more difficult for lights to get up there, I suppose. Because you find in these days as well, a lot of mediums and heavies are pushing up there. I mean, look at this. Look. Easy damage for me, of course. So I don't mind that because they're slow moving. So it's it's a lot easier for me to get shots at them uh, than some little whippy EBR 105 or something like that whizzing straight up there. But, uh, yeah, I just think they could do so much more with these maps. And I saw that, uh, the new update yesterday of some of the things that they're bringing into the game, uh, which I found quite interesting. I thought, yeah, that might be quite good for the game, actually. But we'll wait and see, see when they come out. But at least they're updating us. I wish they'd update us about uh, that they're looking at all these cheaters, the boosting companies. That would be good, wouldn't it? Eh? They tell us about all these new mechanics and stuff that are coming into the game, which is great. And don't get me wrong, kudos to you, Wargaming, for trying to improve the game. Uh, some might go down well, some might not not go down as well as. But at least you're trying different things in the game, so nobody can fault you for that. So fair play to you. But what we really want you to do is make some announcement, acknowledge the fact that you know there's these boosting companies in the game and you're trying your best to, to root them out and, and ban their accounts and get rid of them or you know, put in some form of lawsuit against these boosting companies, I don't know, whatever. Uh, you know, because you've got it in your uh, uh, terms and conditions, haven't you, to say that, you know, you shouldn't share your account details and all that kind of stuff. Uh, well, evidently people are, and so there's a blatant violation uh, of your terms and conditions, which would give you the ultimate right to just chop the snake's head off and, and just get rid of them accounts. Uh, and perhaps throw a lawsuit towards uh, the boosting company. Unless, unless of course, now this is me just being a bit cynical here, unless of course, uh, part of the boosting company it happens to be part of the war game and stuff. Uh, little old me thinks there's something a little bit spurious uh, about this boosting company facade. Because uh, it's, it's funny, isn't it, how war game have gone so quiet and they just, they, they don't even make mention of it. Which is a bit strange, really. I, I remember a couple of years ago, they made mention, didn't they, where they were... Every year, they have a purge of accounts uh, of people that are using cheat software and all this kind of stuff. And uh, and they made a bit of a to-do about it, saying that, you know, this year we've banned 15,000 people or 1,500 people for this. And, uh, and this year, we gave so many suspensions to so many players for violations of uh, uh, of the terms and conditions on this and blah de blah de blah 
Uh, and at least it kind of gave you a little bit of hope of thing. Well, at least they're monitoring things, and at least they're watching it and seeing how it's going. But this boosting company thing, they've seemed to have gone really, really silent. Like, as in nothing. I haven't, I haven't had anything from them at all. So I wonder whether it's... Uh, I mean, obviously, I've got no evidence to support this. This is just me surmising, uh, you know, just playing devil's advocate here. Imagine if it was some wargaming staff uh, that were doing this on the side to earn a little bit of extra cash. Uh, I don't know. What do I know? I know nothing. You think I know nothing? I tell you, I know. Fuck all. But it's you just got to surmise, haven't you? Because wargaming are very, very silent on it in there. You just don't hear anything at all, which is a bit of a shame, really, because I think what the community really wants is just for an acknowledgement by Wargaming that, one, they're aware of it, and two, that they are looking into it. And that's all you can ask for, really, isn't it? And I think that's why Klaus has been so passionately pushing uh, with the videos that he's got and all the people that have sent videos to him. Um, because, obviously, you know, we're a big community, aren't we, the, the tanking community? We are. Um... You know, although we might be blowing shit up on the battlefield and shooting at each other and, and calling each other um, <laughs> some inept names, shall we say. Some names that have got a bit of colourful language to them, especially when you're getting taken out on the battlefield. But you know what? We're all still a tanking community and, you know, I guess for want of a better word, we just want this game to be really, really good and sound and not infiltrated by the filth of people cheating. You know, I mean, you look at Call of Duty, man. Oh, that, that thing's just ridiculous. But, you know, they, they, at least they went some way towards trying to address it. And eventually they had to make an announcement to say that they were doing this, that, and the next thing with their cheat algorithm and all this kind of thing. Wherever there's, wherever there's people, you know, that are playing something where there's money involved, you'll always get somebody that tries to flout the rules. And you'll always get somebody that wants to make a quick buck out of things. That's just... It's been like that since time memorial, but, you know, it'd just be nice if Wargaming would just make an acknowledgement. So come on, Wargaming, get your finger out your ass and come and make an announcement to the to the community. Say, at least you're aware of it uh, and that you are looking into it. And that's good enough, isn't it, really? Uh, I think that would uh, appease a lot of people, myself included. Um, but watch this space, I guess. But anyway, we're doing all right. There's only one tank left. Um, but I've done all right this game. Not too bad. As I say, you know, if you're ever on this map and you're on the opposing team, just fire a couple of rounds into this corner. Nine times out of ten, you're going to end up hitting somebody because there's always somebody sat there. And usually tank destroyers, although I have seen a super heavy set up there sniping once. Uh, so nothing surprises me these days. But anyway, hopefully this guy will be done for unless he's a super, super unicum and he decides to take us all out. In which case we're stuffed anyway. But I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. And on to the end plates and we'll see how we did because he who dares wins rudders not too bad 190,000 credits that'll be about what, what 115 4,000 damage not too bad catch us all in the next one take care remember hit that like and subscribe button till then bye bye